So hey everybody, today Plasticity 1.1 was released. Um, there's a ton of great bug fixes in the release and a couple sexy new features and I kind of just want to walk through a cup, uh, two of those features um, now uh, to explain their nuances. So just let's just get started. By far, the most common feature request for Plasticity on my feature, on my feature request site on Canny is uh, to have inline measurements when drawing curves. So for example, when drawing a rectangle, you can set the, uh, you can see and you can set the width and the height. So for example, you can tab into the width, you can type in five, um, you can hit enter, move things around, tab into the height, type in a number, and then you can hit enter, or hit right click to confirm. Um, this is gonna be true for almost every sketch um, or curve uh, command, so we can set the, the diameter of a polygon, uh, you can set the diameter of a circle, um, and additionally you can do the length um, and the angle for a line. And just to show you some of the nuances, how the, how the line works, the first segment of the line you'll draw, the angle will be relative to the construction plane's x-axis, but for subsequent, um, subsequent uh, segments, the angle will be relative to the previous segment, okay? Now, again, you can tab into these and type in values. Um, in the context of lines, you know, these numbers can easily be three-dimensional. And uh, so here we're off the construction plane and touching the z-axis. So uh, it's something to bear in mind that plasticity is a 3D sketching environment and the nuances of how this work are a little bit different than you would expect in say Shaper 3D or Fusion 360. Um, if for some reason you dislike this stuff, you can go into the grid and unit section and uncheck showing measurements when drawing curves. But I actually encourage all users to leave this on for now. Even though all these measurements and numbers um, are more most useful for a kind of precision, 3D printing, whatever workflow, I actually think, uh, I tried really hard to make the treatment of, the visual treatment of this very subtle, uh, not super opaque, you know, only showing simple numbers that are easy to ignore, except when you tab in and things are more visually prominent. So even if you're like doing a much more free form creative workflow where you're like primarily, um, let's say, using curves to do like cuts, you know, like this, even then I still think it's nice, in my opinion, to leave some of these measurements on because I've, I've found, I think, a nice subtle treatment that works well in a 2D and a 3D context and, uh, and yeah, so that's the first thing. The next thing I wanna talk about is Plasticity's backup system. So I'm just, I have this like untitled, unsaved file right now. I'm gonna save it by typing command. And I'm gonna save a file, I'm just gonna call it asdf.plasticity, okay? And, and now that we've saved the file, there's just like one copy of it, okay? But, if I make a modification to this file, okay, uh, that, let's just leave that fill for now, and I save again, I'm gonna type command S, all right. Now all of a sudden, there's going to be this plasticity folder beside my file. And by default, what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep the immediately previous copy of the file before I saved and overwrote it, plus a one hour and one day old version of this file. So you will always have basically a previous save plus one hour old plus one day old version that uh, will probably, you know, once, every, once in a while, once every month or two, it will save your ass and make sure that you don't lose any data on accident or in case of a bug in plasticity. Um, if you want more backups, you can keep, I don't know, five of the most recent saved copies of the file, or you can keep, um, say, uh, 24 hourly copies of the file, for example, or if what you, or if you have your own like backup strategy where you use version control and you want to keep control of this yourself, you can just put everything to zero and then 
plasticity will not keep any back. Now, plasticity uh, by default will create this little directory as a sibling of the file that you saved. If for some reason you don't like that, you can change the backup path um, to something where all backups will go into one place. Like, it's kind of up to you. Um, I think the defaults are sensible and useful for most people. That's why, in general, Plasticity, by default, will preserve three copies of your document. You do have to be mindful of having three copies taking up too much disk space, potentially, if you, you know, like a very simple file is only six kilobytes, but like, uh, it is very easy to have a 100 megabyte or 200 megabyte plasticity file if things get really complex. So those, there are many reasons you might want to turn off backups, but I think for most users, leave this on. Every six months, this will save your ass. Um, and, and yeah, there's a plenty of other features that came with this release, but I think these two really uh, focus on, um, you know, the number one user requested feature plus um, this change in behavior that is, uh, that is, yeah, worth knowing. Okay, cool. Talk to you later.